welcome to your live Tuesday One Show with Matt Baker. And Alex Jones. Tonight we have two best friends in the studio with us whose friendship began it was well over 30 <laughs> years ago after meeting on the set of this comedy classic. Come with me when moonbeams paint the sky And you and I might linger in the sweet by and by Oh, oh and they've been in the world ever since. It's brilliant to see Martin and Martin Shaw! <laughs> Thank you. That was so kind of you. Thank you. Uh, uh, please, not... Steve's here too. Yeah. <laughs> we have not changed a bit. Since you that know, no. but... that little clip was like our Corona handshake when you came in there when we oh, were yeah, giving right. the whole yeah. kind of all this business that we've we got to do. We were climbing on each other's yeah. backs. Right? That's right. Oh, um, well, we so fantastic. You're here. over here on tour, and it's lovely to have you. Um, we're happy we, to be here. We know you've been to Glasgow. Yes, we have. Because we played there last night. Yes, that's yeah, right. We, nice, saw this, um, we saw this picture in the paper. Yeah, go ahead. That's me. Are. Go ahead. <laughs> Fully gloved up. Nope. No. Those are my hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These are gloves. How embarrassing <laughs> that you would, <laughs> would you point that out. Well, you know, we're traveling through airports and things. We're yeah. flying around, makes and sense. there's an epidemic. Steve, it yeah. makes sense. You are the wisest. You are the wisest person to do that. Thank you. Mm. What, I have what? a family. I don't want of to take course. it home. Of you know. course. Uh, did, you, did you think twice about coming over here? I mean, it's... Well, it's... well you know, we were, we were actually booked before the crisis started. So we were, uh, it was just like nip and tuck about, because yeah. it started yeah. to grow as we were leaving. And sure. uh, so we're here and we're doing the shows. And, and you know, we had, a, we had a big people. house uh, last night in Glasgow. Yeah, it was oh, fantastic. It seemed to mind, and, you know. Enjoyed it, yeah. It's and then tomorrow night we're in Dublin. Mm -hmm. Off all over the place. Yeah. I know. Oh, it's going everywhere, here, there and everywhere. Well, we've been having a little think, haven't we? About what, uh, <laughs> what sort of things you can do, apart from self-isolating, uh, while you're over here. And we think we've nailed it. OK. Wild swimming. <laughs> there are, however, a few spots. We do that anyway. Do you? Yeah, well, there are a few spots that you might want to oh, avoid. Yeah. Um, yeah. You were saying, Martin, that you have a house perfectly by a lake. I, uh, on a lake, right on a, on a lake. lake. Lake Rosso in, um, on, uh, just north of Toronto. Wow. Sounds idyllic. Yeah, in Canada. Do you, do you so you're very out? wealthy. Yeah, pretty wealthy. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I love it. Speaking of property. I wish property, I had a house on a lake, like fan Mr. Fancy over here. <laughs> I heard a story, and I really do hope that it's true, about the first time that you met each other, and it is related to the fact about property, and it's something that you said to Steve, is that right? Mr. I went to you Steve's know? house to pick up a script for Three Amigos that yeah. he wrote, yeah. film, by the way. <laughs> Hold for applause. Mm -hmm. And, <laughs> and, and um, I had never met him, but I was stunned by... He's a ma master collector of arts, and there was yes. a Picasso here and an Edward Hopper there, and I said to him, how did you get this rich because I've seen your work. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I said to him, I thought you'd be more charismatic. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the essence. And then he had to look it up. Oh. <laughs> oh. It is no, the I'm essence Canadian. of your relationship. <laughs> I love and is that and so you hit it off pretty much. Yes, we did. Away. We hit it off. We and then we worked together on five films. Yes. And, yeah. uh, you know, you, uh, in a lot of movies, you, know, you meet someone for three months and then, then you go your separate ways. But we kept reuniting on these films and we had a lot of fun and we just maintained a, a friendship. And then we, but we really, what we really wanted is so that one day we'll be on the one show. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And maintain this. Yeah. We can maintain this. It's happened. So this is an apex of our career. Well, it was, it was an almost apex. And then I kept saying, get on the one show and hopefully see a video about water soup. Oh, shit. <laughs> there you All your dreams have come true. <laughs> Steve, you sort of quit um, stand up for a little while, didn't you? And then you did this one gig together in well, Canada. Well, I didn't quit it for a little while. I quit for 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't quit. I, I'm seeing if there's a difference. I stopped. Yeah. You know, I had just, I had been, I had been doing it for 18 years, stand up. Mm. And I kind of got a certain level of success and I, I had exhausted my kind of creative spirit, and yep. I, but fortunately, I was able to go into movies. And then uh, when this 
idiot came along. I, uh, I believe I have a name. Oh, 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 oh Mr. Idiot. Yeah, Marty you. Idiot. And uh, we we decided, and I started doing a music show. I was on this show at the yeah. band. You we started were, doing yeah, comedy Canadian, again. Yeah. Yeah. And I was performing live. And then we got together and we started Im improving and developing a show, which we were very, very happy with. Yeah. So how does the, how does the show <laughs> look now then, Martin? I mean, how do, when people come to see you, what are they going to see? Well, uh, our friend Catherine O'Hare described it as a children's show for adults. And I like that because it's it's very collective, but it's kind of ideally wall-to-wall uh, -wall laughs. That's yeah. the hope. You know, our goal is to m make people come, I and mean, we know it's hard for people to come. You have some often you have to get a babysitter, you have to maybe go to dinner, you have to get transportation, you have to buy the ticket, you have to get home, and we want to give them the we want them to say that was the funniest show I ever saw. Right. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, that's what, what we say. We uh, so. we say it all the time, all the time. about ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> If our viewers agree and want to buy the tickets, okay? So here's a taste of your show. Okay. okay. You know, see, let me just say, I am such a fan. I mean, I see your work and I'm whelmed. <laughs> I, I bet I've seen Cheaper by the Dozen over 500 times. Wow. <laughs> Thank so, you. And every time I see it, I always say the same thing. I say, Steve, you know, we could watch something else. <laughs> you know what I love about touring around with Marty Short? No paparazzi. Oh, and by the way, that's uh, that, that's our Netflix special, which was on a couple of years ago. Yeah. And yeah. We have significantly uh, changed our show. <laughs> Although coincidentally, it. those two jokes are still in. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you've mentioned Morecambe and Wise and lots of double acts. What makes you two such a good double act? Then, what is it in the chemistry between you? You well, know, it's... I never believe in chemistry. Because I see, you know, married couples on the screen and they have no chemistry. And then they have people who hate each other and they have fantastic chemistry. So mm. chemistry is a... a yeah. is, subjective, know. I suppose. Yeah, it's subjective or whatever. I mean, you never know when it's going to strike. But we just like each other. We like working toward the same end, having a really And I think the show. secret is that we have great chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> You know how we Perfect. You know how we achieve how, here's how we achieve our chemistry <laughs> through chemicals. <laughs> well, Absolute well. class. I mean a class act, a class double act. <laughs> really oh, super. Man. It's so wonderful um, to see. Steve and Marty's tour oh. is the funniest show in town at the moment. <laughs> it's in <laughs> Dublin next, then Belfast, and then it comes to London. Oh gosh. Now our next film is all about somebody who has made a living out of people touring. We are talking roadside cafe. These lads now. We're moving on to roadside cafe. Yes. So... <laughs> I'm telling you, it's a dream. <laughs> Woo! We're knocking it out of the park for but you this tonight. This one's special, okay, because this one is in my neck of the woods in South Wales um, and it gets a glowing review from a fellow American, so this is worth it. Oh. Come rain or shine, Gavin, Justine, and the team keep the snack bar running all year round. We work very well together, I think. Yeah, we very, do. Very, very well. You yeah. Want a bit of banter. But we try to make the job as fun as possible because at the end of the day, you spend so much, so many hours of your of, of your life in work. In work, yeah, you do, um, don't you? You got to make it fun. Mm. Got to be happy yeah. in your job. You do, and, uh, and we are. We are. Well, Zoe and Ben did get married two days later. Here's the lovely picture of bride and groom. Mm. Ah. Beautiful. Oh, I did the wedding. I know that wedding. Oh. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone. Oh, no. it's gone. Yes. We were oh, waiting for fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Can I just record you two? We had, I was going to say, we had the clip lined up. What? Yes. OK, could you just do that again? What oh, a beautiful yeah. wording. I love the wording of the world. <laughs> oh, yes. Brilliant. We were going to play a clip of that, but we're not even going to bother now. That was absolutely oh, that super. You still got it, Marty. I told you. Marty, yeah. that was absolutely that was magnificent. So now, in our first little film when we went into there, Martin, you said that you're going to go on tour. You're going over to Ireland and Northern yes. Ireland. Yes. And um, we know that it's a strong family connection for you. Yes. So will, will there be any chance of maybe showing Steve around a little bit? Uh, well, you know, um, I don't know if we're actually going to... We actually took a trip together with our wives uh, to Ireland. In uh, 1989. In 1989. And this was to Cross Maglen, was it? No, we didn't go to we Cross We didn't go to Cross Maglen. Well, we just went around the is. ring of the So my family is. Yeah. yeah. My father was one, born uh, the fifth of 11 children. Jeez. There would have been 12, but on Sundays, my grandparents practiced birth control. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> 
So and, you were, they and, were married for 12 days? Yep. Yeah. Okay, good. And, uh, no, so anyway, so, so uh, I literally have about 50 cousins coming to Dublin <laughs> and 50 coming to Belfast. Oh, well, That's listen, amazing. we know. And cousins coming to London, too. We do know that the folk of Cross McGlen are very keen, Steve, to welcome you if you do fancy it. Here's a little message. I would be very excited. Here's a message. This is your Auntie Rosie, yeah. and I'd be glad to see yeah. you come on. And when you come, both you and Steve Martin will have a pint of me. Wow. Uh, how fabulous. Do you have a little so message much. back? That's great. I know, that's wow. so good. Wow. That's brilliant. Would you like to say another, a little message back? There we are. Yes, I would. Yeah. I wish I could remember your name. <laughs> <laughs> You're the, you're the warmest, kind heart Thank I've ever so met. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, what a, dear. Oh, what a, what dear. a sense of class. Thank yeah. you. Do you know, they say, they do say, never meet your heroes. Well, I tell you what, I'd highly advise going to see these two on oh. tour. Absolutely <laughs> superb. So, lads, thinking back then to when you were at school and you were that age, I mean, we've got one of our journalists there, 11 years old. What, what, what did you want to do with your lives? Did you have at any 11? idea? Yeah, did at you 11 have... or later on? Well, yeah, 11, I know around... exactly what I wanted to be. And I don't, I, this is not funny. I wanted to be an electrician. Did you? Because yeah. I loved the way electricity worked and batteries and how to light light bulbs. But I never got more sophisticated than of working a flashlight. Right. So that I. But I loved comedy. So that's I started going into comedy right around age 15. Yeah. And Imagine. Martin, how about I wanted you? to be a doctor. Did you? And you were actually studied to be a yeah, doctor. Yeah, I went into pre meds for two yeah. years. Wow. But then I realized I didn't care about science. I just liked the idea of being a doctor. And I realized that wasn't enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a doctor. Well, I call myself I one. Mean, anyway. I'm a doctor. I, I, uh, was I it, have a bag. Was it other people that encouraged you to get into comedy? Or was it something, was, was it a passion of yours? I mean, it's... Uh, I, I th it was, you know, I, I took a year. I went from uh, medicine to social work. And I took a year off before getting a master's degree just to try it. But he no, comes from a no. funny family. Uh, a very it's funny the family, complete yeah. opposite. I come from an unfunny family. So they, they both led to the same place. You must send oh. a copy of this to your sister. Listen, it <laughs> goes back to what you were saying about chemistry. What an <laughs> evening it's been. <laughs> These two are the funniest show in town at the moment and for the rest of eternity, they tour in the UK as we speak. Thank you. The DJ Jazzy John. Flashback.